Apparently that's the YouTube way of doing things. I finished this video that's taking me three weeks to do and I've shot new footage for it for about four days. Just trying to wrangle it into some kind of shape. This has been the trickiest video, not because it's complicated, but because I came into it from one direction and it actually went a completely different way. And then I had to wrangle it back on track. So glad it's done. I'm not going to do a Tuesday video next week, which means I don't have to shoot a video at all this week, which is good because I've got falling water to do. And these videos, the week notes video, isn't going to be the most interesting one again, because it's literally me sat at the computer doing falling water, falling water, falling water, falling water every day. That's the highest priority. What else is going on this week? I think that's it. That's literally it. Tiniest amount of admin. I'm not going to be on social media very much. I'm not going to be replying to email very much. Just hunkering down, got to get the code done. So I have no idea what the rest of the week's video is going to be. Good morning if you just tuned in, welcome along, maybe your alarm just went off and you're ready to start the day, or maybe, even more likely, you're not quite ready to start the day, but you don't really have much choice in the matter, well don't worry, the Cloud Busting Mix is here to get you in the zone, get you in the mood and make Wednesday all that much better. Thank you very much Dylan, Lee Sims, Johnny Kennedy, Scott and Sheffield and everybody else who requested tracks today, I think you're going to hear something you like. We're raising the vibration, all different genres of music, but hopefully all optimistic cloud busting tunes this first one certainly is spanky wilson covering cream this one's for johnny kennedy St. Cuthbert's Mill is a paper manufacturer who are based in Somerset down south from here and they've been making paper for like over 200 years or something. They make my favourite paper of all types for printing and for pen plotting here. For some reason I haven't been able to get my hands on A3 paper for the past few months. So I've been plotting on A1 paper and A4 paper. But A3 is kind of a sweet spot for me, both in terms of size for putting on the walls, length of time it takes to plot, and also shipping. It gets more awkward when you go like up a size or when you go down a size. A3 is the sweet spot. So I'm really glad to have some A3 paper back in stock and uh, I'm going to be doing quite a few of these plots. <laughs> It is about this point that the fine pen ran out of ink. Luckily, this is a precision machine. So I put a new pen in, which is now going over top of the old pen. This pen is a 0.3, so it's slightly thicker than the 0.1 I was using. I'm not gonna risk putting another 0.1 pen in because I think that one's about to run out as well. The idea behind this was to have two different thicknesses of pens and a pencil to get these different textures. Now I'm using 0.3 and 0.7, but there doesn't seem to be that much difference between them. I'm not sure if you can really notice that this here is the thick pen. And then this here is the 0.3 thinner pen. There's not really much between the two. Time-wise though, yep, I've given up wearing a watch. Don't do that anymore. Time-wise, this was supposed to finish about an hour, half an hour ago. So it's gonna make editing this video really tight, but it wouldn't be a weekly week notes without a really close deadline. Anyway, back to the plotting. I think I'll say goodbye to you now. And I hope you have a good weekend. The rest of the day is just gonna be this. Yeah.